Hello everyone and welcome back. This vlog is all about food, specifically unlimited dining specialty dining package on the cruise. I'm going to go over whether it was worth it for us, our thoughts, tips and tricks to make it more affordable, and just overall how our experience went. So stay tuned. One thing I do want to point out is that even though we're talking about our likes and dislikes on food and restaurants, one thing that remained the same was our exceptional customer service, no matter which restaurant we went to. Unlimited dining isn't always available for all of Royal Caribbean cruises, so if you do see it on your cruise planner, go ahead and add it when you can. Also, just keep checking back. Up until two days before your cruise, you can uh, cancel it and repurchase it for a lower price. So that's a tip that I use just to make it more affordable. So this is my husband, Paulo's first time having specialty dining on a cruise. And first stop was Chops Grill for lunch. So Paulo, what did you think about Chops Grill? So yeah, Chops Grill was a great first restaurant to experience specialty dining at. I'm a big fan of steakhouses. Um, I did. I was kind of disappointed they didn't have the ribeye on the menu in the lunch menu, but they did have a delicious filet mignon that I was able to enjoy, which was great. They even had a red wine reduction sauce that you were able to add to it. On top of that, the sides were amazing with the guy Ritchie cheese, tater tots, Parmesan truffle fries. So that was really good. Um, I thought this was also a great alternative to just going to Windjammer or Park Cafe, which is some of the places that we would have went to lunch. So this experience overall was a great start to this eight day cruise. At Chops, one of the things that I loved so much and looked forward to getting every time we went there was their lamb. They gave two really generous pieces of lamb surrounded by this great sauce, which you can see, and it was just, oh, it was so good. And finally, I got to enjoy their 16 ounce ribeye. That is a full pound. I also got uh, some peppercorn sauce to top it off which completed it and made my taste buds go to heaven. It was amazing. And our personal favorite recommendation for Chops Grill is definitely gonna be their red velvet cake with cream cheese icing. It's so huge, delicious. Paulo's initial reaction just speaks for itself. Next stop was Izumi's. And Izumi has sushi and hibachi area. Uh, the hibachi area reservations do fill up pretty quick, so if you're interested in that, I would go ahead and put in your reservation at the beginning of the cruise for that. We prefer sushi, and it, they give you so much food. It's delicious. As you can see, the rolls are huge. Um, you do get one starter. You could probably ask for more, and they'll give it to you, and then you can get two large plates of sushi. It was each. It was just so much that we could barely even finish it each day. Yeah, I love the Zumi as well. I thought it was a high quality um, Japanese uh, restaurant on the ship. I was extremely surprised at how large and scrumptious their specialty rolls were. Anastasia's uh, favorite was the furumaki roll, and my favorite was the lobster uh, tempura roll, which had um, tempura fried lobster with spicy aioli inside of the um, tempura ball, and it was quite scrumptious and delectable. And also for dessert, they had these um, savory, sweet mochi uh, ice cream that came with uh, green tea, chocolate, and strawberry. And it was quite, quite the adventure that my taste buds were taking on. Another thing that I do want to point out is that they made the sushi right in front of you so you could see them making it fresh as you ordered it. And so if you have any type of dietary restrictions, they're very quick to take care of you. For example, mine is cream cheese. Um, I heard some other people's were imitation crab and a few other things. So um, they're very accommodating for those. Now we head on down to the boardwalk where you have Sabor. Uh, Mexican restaurant which is super casual as you can see Paulo shimmying and what do you think Paulo? Sabor really was not my favorite on the ship um, I thought I could get Mexican food and pretty much anywhere and I would not like pay extra to have it on a ship but they did have a really nice uh, fish dish that I enjoyed um, it was very flavorful 
Um, also, their churros is pretty good for dessert, and they had some nice guacamole. But if I'm going for specialty dining on a cruise, I would not go to Sabor. And now we have Giovanni's Table located on Central Park. So yeah, I thought Giovanni's was pretty good. It's Anastasia's one of her favorites. Um, so for appetizer, you see us eating right now, we have the pork belly. I was kind of disappointed in the pork belly because I like my pork belly fr uh, fried and crispy while this was more of a slow roasted. So a lot of the fat was a little chewy for me. And then for the main course, uh, I had a lamb shank, which by the way was, was lamb shank with couscous, which was absolutely amazing. I, like it made my taste buds go crazy. Like it was amazing to eat and experience. And Anastasia, she likes her um, Alfredo. So she had linguine Alfredo with mushroom sauce, which was good. Um, she enjoyed that. But by far my favorite desserts on the whole boat came from Giovanni's with their cannolis. Uh, they, were, they had a pistachio and chocolate cannoli. And the best thing is you can get any of these things to go so you can enjoy them later. So I legit had two cannolis at the dinner table and then asked for two more cannolis to go to enjoy for breakfast the next day. And now we have Sombra Grill, which is located in the Solarium on deck 15. Um, this is their take on a Brazilian steakhouse. So yeah, I thought Samba was an okay take on a Brazilian steakhouse. It honestly kind of disappointed me because of our previous experiences at traditional uh, Brazilian steakhouses. It was a little different. They served you appetizers first before they come out with the meats. They also had like a little like um, salad bar. Didn't really have that many selections. What, what I did like, of course, you can never go wrong with the fried bananas that they had. Their empanadas were good. It was filled with a whole bunch of cheese. Um, they also, their cheesy bread was a little disappointing, but they did have really good beef ribs. They had good um, lamb and they also had a good filet mignon. But those were pretty much my only uh, favorites. We did go here quite a few times while I did enjoy, um, you know, our servers. Um, it was just a very limited selection. So you really only get seven meats to choose from. Three of those are really just sausage and chicken. Um, so that, that's probably what I would change about the experience. And we saved the best for last, 150 Central Park. This is one of my favorite atmospheres. Like as you can see by the chairs, everything's just so extravagantly decorated in there. Um, and it really made you feel super fancy. On this cruise, my favorite food was at 150 Central Park. Um, they also had the longest wait. So if you are trying to make adjustments, just make sure you do so the very first day of your cruise so you, that you can get in. We enjoyed the braised short rib. Again, we had pork belly. Also, I had the duck duo, which was great. Paulo had lobster thermidor as well, which he really enjoyed. Um, so all around 10 out of 10, loved 150 Central Park. And one funny thing that I noticed at every single restaurant that we walked into, we were by far the youngest people in the room. We don't know if it's because of the cruise we're on or what, but we were definitely the youngest people in the room. And I do feel very blessed not only be able to go on a cruise, but be able to enjoy specialty dining on top of that. Again, we cruise so much because we feel like it's like the best economical decision for a vacation for us. But this has been, you know, great. We really enjoyed it. I do feel like I'm so blessed to be able to experience this uh, specialty dining um, package. It was definitely worth the money and I definitely had some of the best cuisine I've ever tasted in my life on this trip. And this fall concludes our cruise segment. We hope you really enjoyed it. It's a little bit different, a little bit more informational, but um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let us know um, if you have any questions at all about cruises, tips, tricks, specialty dining, food, any of that. Thank you.